I'm not caught up on orders. And we have all 25 hoops ready to go. And I was able to pack 17 kits before I ran out of yarn. I'm just like way too overwhelmed right now. Okay, you can kind of get an idea. How adorable. Okay, this is what I have for yarn inventory. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I have a small business where I sell keychains, stickers, tufted car coasters, tufted big coasters, tote bags, candles, all sorts of things. And I make content filming behind the scenes of running my business and preparing for markets. And today is yet another market prep video. I have a market on Saturday and I just have a ton to do this week if I'm being honest. I have a lot of Etsy orders to fulfill. Today is Tuesday and I launched the kits on Friday and so far we've sold 25 kits. <laughs> so that's crazy. Uh, we sold out of the kits the first launch and I only had 36 available. So I wasn't sure how this launch was gonna go, but I have 50 kits available. We already sold half of them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I launched punch needle kits so that you can make your own punch needle coaster. It's a cloud coaster design. So if you purchase the kit, you'll have pretty much all the supplies you need to create this cloud coaster for your desk or table. The only thing that doesn't come in the kit is a glue gun and scissors, so you will need those things. Uh, but yeah, these have been popular, I'm very glad to say. So I need to continue putting together some supplies for those kits. Sean and I were working last night, my boyfriend. I, I feel like I need to do more of an intro to these videos because I know I'm getting a lot of new subscribers. So Sean is my boyfriend and last night we were working on prepping kit supplies. So I'm looking at the supplies right now, that's why. <laughs> but we have all the punch needles ready to go that we didn't have to prep, we just had to unbox them. Uh, and then we have some hoops stretched with fabric. I need you to go in and trace the design on the hoops. And then last night especially, we were doing yarn. So we have a lot of yarn packs ready, not quite 25, but yeah, I also need to print more stickers for the kits. There's just things I need to do with that. But I have a whole to-do list here. I also sell this to-do list on my Etsy if you're interested. Uh, but let me read you what we have for this week. Like I said, today's Tuesday, so we already had yesterday. Yesterday I placed another keychain order and I mostly was just punch needling. I did all of this yesterday. And these are all for orders and I have more than I need to do on here that are also for orders, so. I'm very happy with the number of orders I've been getting. I will say though, I am low on car coasters after last weekend's market. So I need to make inventory for that as well. A little nervous about that. Cause I could spend all week doing everything else. That's on my to-do list. So I need to carve out time to do the car coasters, which is very time consuming. So first on here is orders, which include the punch needle kits and the car coasters, just like packing orders and shipping them. Uh, and then I have edit video. I need to edit last week's market prep, which takes like six to eight hours, I'd say, um, if not longer. So I kind of like find time at night in the mornings uh, to do that. I also, this is very exciting. I wrote new keychain display. So Duncan goes to agility training and I was talking to the trainer yesterday, he had it. And it came up that I do keychains because I was showing her his profile picture on the app that we use uh, to like book classes. And it's an illustration. It's the illustration I made of Duncan, who's our puppy, if you're new. And I was like, yeah, I make keychains. So I just designed one of Duncan and made him into a keychain. And I showed her the keychain. She's like, oh my gosh, you should sell your keychains here. And I was like, wow, I didn't even think about like... I didn't think about that at all and it's like the perfect place to sell dog keychains. My keychains are all dog and cat breeds, again if you're new, <laughs> um, and yeah so that'd be the perfect place to sell dog keychains. Well they're having a big event Saturday, this coming Saturday, and then they have events like throughout the months so if we miss the Saturday's event it's not a big deal but I do want to try to get everything together and drop off the keychain display on Friday. So that means making a whole new keychain display. If 
you've been watching my videos, you would know that the keychain display is pretty tall. It's a pegboard on a grid frame, and then I put peg hooks in there to hang each keychain. Well, we're gonna make the same thing. I ordered the grid wall, and it's supposed to come by Friday. I don't know what time, though. I'm hoping it doesn't come too late, because we need to put it together with the pegboard, and then go drop it off. So, and like, I have to put the keychains on when we're there, because I can't transport them in the car with the keychains on the display already. So that's something on the to-do list. This is such a long intro, I'm sorry. But that's very exciting. I'm so excited to be able to sell my keychains there. And then I need to print new keychain signs. My old ones got water damaged at the last market, so I need to redo that. Then I need to make keychain signs for the new display. I also wanna do like a little about the artist photo and like paragraph and put that on the display for in the store because People shopping might not, probably won't register that uh, someone designed all of these keychains and they're a small business owner and you know, I think it would be, I don't know, I just think it'd be cool to have that on the keychain display. That was actually Sean's idea. And it's gonna be like a photo of me and Duncan and then I'll have a little blurb about what I do. And then I need to prep more kit supplies. I need to make more car coasters for my own inventory. I need to restock stickers. And this isn't gonna happen this week, but I'm also looking into potentially doing a Patreon. I just posted a little like graphic on my YouTube with my ideas for Patreon. And I also asked people to comment other ideas. Uh, so go check that post out if you're interested in seeing what I might offer and if you have any insight. I also am really curious if anyone's even interested in a Patreon. There would be different tiers. Let's see, I'm gonna try to remember what my ideas are. Um, I was thinking a coaster of the month so I could give the template and then the yarn supplies and then maybe I can have an option if you don't already have like the punch needle. I don't know how that would work. The coaster of the month might be only if you've already bought a kit and you have the punch needle and the hoop, and then I can send fabric, yarn, and the template. What do we think about that? And then I was thinking I could do exclusive videos, so an exclusive video that only Patreon members get to view uh, once a month, or maybe a couple times a month, but I might only be able to manage once a month. And then other ideas included a one hour virtual co-working session, which I'm a little nervous for because I am an introvert, so I feel like I'd be a little nervous. Um, fake it till you make it. So I would host a one hour co-working session a month where we all get on Zoom and we can work. And if you want to talk, you can talk. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to, um, but it just helps people stay productive, a fun way of working from home if you're like bored and lonely working from home a lot um and then i was thinking sticker packs so i could do a sticker pack a month with three stickers uh so yeah those are my current ideas let me know this is the longest intro ever i'm hoping it's not actually 10 minutes long which is how long i've been talking <laughs> uh i need to cut it down but that's like a whole synopsis of what you missed yesterday with like being able to sell my keychains in the store what i got done um and the plans for this week so i'm gonna jump right into work it's like 10 30 a.m i think um i'm just gonna keep making car coasters then i need to finish them and work on order packing so i hope you're still watching and i didn't just talk your ear off and let's get to work let's go racing quarter of two and I've been tufting all day. This is where we're at. I finished the sheet 
and I'm about to cut these out and glue the backings on and then pack up some orders. I still have more orders. Uh, I don't know if I said this to my mom or if I said this on the vlog, but I do still have more orders I need to do, but I'm gonna wait until probably next week to do those because I need to get going on inventory for this weekend's market and the orders I still have don't have to be shipped uh, until next week. So I'm not caught up on orders, but I'm caught up on them for this week. So that's we're leaving. I'm gonna do this and then I want to ship out punch needle kits by tomorrow. So hopefully Sean and I will be able to get a lot done on that tonight. We're going to my parents tonight. We do have some packages to pick up and <laughs> Oh my god, crazy. I'm realizing how much we order just because how often I say that we're going there to get packages. But that is happening. And the dogs will play. We might play Catan. That's like our game that we play there. And we're going to have dinner there. So that's tonight. But until then, I'm going to keep working on this. And I also want to do yarn inventory. I want to take all my yarn out, sort it by color, and see if I need to order any more because that would be very inconvenient if I all of a sudden run out of a color and I need to get an order out. So I'm gonna do that after the coasters given I have enough time. So yeah, let's do all of that. Okay, both of my camera batteries died while I was finishing these, so I didn't get a ton of content, but they're obviously all done, and most of these can be packed right now. I know there's at least one set that also goes with a punch needle kit, so I'm gonna wait to pack that. And there's also an order that six of these go into, so I'm gonna pack these up and then uh, do some yarn inventory. Okay, I have a couple of other orders that I can pack as well. I have a to-do list order and then a Dunkin' keychain order. Uh, so I'm gonna pack those up and then I also have a location sticker I need to get done. So I might do that after I do the yarn inventory or later tonight at my parents. 
but let's pack the other two orders. Okay, this is what I have for yarn inventory, and it's kind of crazy seeing it all laid out, but I do want to order a couple more colors. I think I want to order more white, for sure, then more, oh, brown. Oh wait, no, this is the classic brown. Dark brown, I think I want to order more dark brown, so let me write this down. I want to order more of that beige. I use this one for donuts. This one, I think I want to stop buying because it's too thick for my needle. Um, and then, oh, I feel like I should have a few of each on hand. I think I'm going to do more cream because I use that one a lot. It's hard to like gauge how fast I go through the yarn. I might do one more orange with um, Halloween because the jack o -lantern. And then I might do more light blue and I think that's going to be it. So I'm going to place that order right now and then get ready to go to my parents and I'm going to work on the location sticker there and then kit supplies. So I'm back home from my parents. It's 8.30 and I'm not done working for tonight. I still want to get kit supplies together. I didn't end up working on the location sticker. I still need to do that. But I did trace a few cloud designs onto the canvases for the kits. Sean was stretching fabric. He was actually stretching... A lot of it he got a good amount done and I started checking them to make sure they were tight enough and we realized they were not tight enough they were tight enough but when I like mimicked punching they got like super loose and I got these hoops from Michaels they're the same ones that I ordered for the first round of kits the first round there's been no issues with the tightness and I checked those too before I shipped them out but these ones they seem different they're like smoother they're not perfectly round like both pieces of the loop uh, they don't go perfectly flush to each other some of them so I'm gonna try to return these hoops in person thank god that I ordered another brand and those ones are just fine we stretched we had to undo all the ones he did and then we restretched them with new hoops the only thing is I only have 40 of those hoops. So I went into Etsy and I had to account for what we don't have. So now there's only 15 kits still available instead of 25. And I'm gonna have to reorder more hoops, but we wanna keep these kits in stock. So we have to order more punch needles too. All of that, we just need to order more stuff for the kits. But still have a lot of work to do with prepping the materials for the kits. But at my parents, we also picked up some packages and I want to show you what I got. So first, these are transfers. I ordered these last vlog if you saw because I want to make sure I have enough because I just listed my tote bags on Etsy. So I'm not even going to open that, but that's what those are. Then I also got more hooks for the new keychain display. These are for the pegboard um, that's going to be at the Agility training center and this is what the keychains are going to hang off of this is what one looks like and i got a hundred okay i got worried for a second because 50 i don't think would have been enough which is crazy i think i have more than 50 designs uh but a hundred will be enough so i got those then from all things lillianne who i have been following for a long time i used to watch her podcast with I forget her name, she's another YouTuber, but I used to watch her podcast and she was like 
honestly the main inspiration for starting my business. I love her business. I love her energy and I finally have purchased something from her and hopefully we'll purchase more in the future. This is like a small little thing that I got but she released koozies and she designs everything herself in her shop and this is a little fall scene that she illustrated. I think she does it on Procreate. How adorable is this? I can't wait to use it for my coffees. The last package is I think the most exciting. This is from a company that reached out to me offering to make me some enamel pins. The company is VV Pins, V-I-V-I -I Pins. And I've thought about making pins in the past, like a while ago, like I've been in business for three years, almost three years, I think three years in January. And I'd say like two years ago, if not like two and a half years ago, I was thinking about doing pins and I was getting a quotation from a company. I decided it was too expensive and I didn't have any designs that were like good for pins, I felt. And I just haven't looked back into it since. But VV Pins offered to make one of my designs into enamel pins. So I accepted and I picked what I think is the perfect design for a little pin. It is currently a sticker design that I have. I don't even know if I have the sticker listed in my shop, but let me show you the sticker first. So this is the sticker. It's a little turtle with a mushroom hat. And I was like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for a pin. So I think I'm gonna list these on Etsy and I might bring them to in-person events as well. We will see how adorable is this little guy. Oh my gosh, they're one inch pins soft enamel and so so cute i can't wait to take product photos of these and share them on my instagram i'm actually obsessed the back side is black look at how cute oh my gosh it's so tiny but like i love that it's tiny because i don't know it's just like a little turtle with a little mushroom hat i can't stop showing you i think it's so adorable so i have a whole bunch of these they come in little plastic bags so i think I'm gonna leave them in there. I don't know if I'll leave them for shipping. I think I'll put them on little cards or something. We will have to see. But I think these turned out so amazingly. Thank you, Vivi Pins, for sending me these. I love them. And I can't wait to list them. I need to figure out where I wanna put one. I could put one on a tote bag for sure. Where else can I put one? I'm gonna have to see. Maybe my purse somewhere. I can figure out a spot, but yeah i'm very happy with those and i think they are adorable so that's everything i got for my parents i think and i'm gonna keep working on kits tonight and so is sean i think so yeah let's get back to work and It's 10 p.m. and we have all 25 hoops ready to go. Uh, we need to do 11 more packs of yarn and then I need to cut more felt and I also need to print a bunch of stickers for the kits. I don't have any stickers for like the outside of the kits made and then I need to make more stickers for the inside of the kits. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow as much as I can. I'm a little worried about time because uh, I don't have many coasters, so I need to make at least another sheet of car coasters this week, and realistically it's only going to be one more sheet because time flies and they take a while. So let me take a look at my to-do list because I'm curious where I'm at, what else I have to do. Oh, like <laughs> I need to make stickers for this week. I'm out of a few designs for this weekend, I mean for the market. Um, so sticker restock, that's important, has to be done. Car coasters, kit supplies, and then the new keychain display. My current keychain display has a pegboard on each side, but we only use one side right now. So I think we're gonna just clip off the zip ties on one side, remove the pegboard and put that on the new display. Um, so we need to get 
We need to get or find zip ties. I'm actually gonna look after this clip and see if I can find the zip ties because I know we had extras. Um, and then if not, we'll just have to buy more this week. Um, and then I also would love to take photos of these pins and list them on Etsy, but that might be like a weekend slash next week activity because it's not vital. Um, and then I do need to edit a YouTube video. So there's still a lot on this list. I ordered the yarn though tonight so I can check that off. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Um, we have another busy day tomorrow, so I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's almost 10 a.m., it's 9.51, and I was up late last night. I went to bed at like 1, 1.30 is probably when I actually fell asleep. I was just working in the office, I was getting more kit supplies done. I did the stickers as you saw for the outside of the boxes, and then I also cut more felt. So I think I'm good on felt. I might need to cut like one or two more pieces. I have 26 pieces cut. Um, and I still need to do some more yarn packs and instruction guides. And I think that's it. So what I'm planning on doing this morning, I want to get all of these, if not most of them, like maybe one or two won't be shipped. We will see. But I'd like to get ideally all of these packed and shipped today um, and I haven't started packing any. The other main thing I have to do is build the boxes that they're going to go in. So I'm going to build some boxes, the white ones that the actual kit is, um, and then I also have to build the ones that they ship in but I just do that as I pack each one up. So I'm going to build some boxes, I'm going to pack what I can for the kits and then I'm going to make the rest of the supplies and pack the rest of the kits. So that's the plan. Just kit packing for hopefully the first half of the day. Then I need to go to my parents and, well, I'm gonna go to the post office, drop off the packages, then go to my parents and uh, look at my student loans with my mom, which is <laughs> one of the most stressful things um, is looking at my student loans because I have a lot of debt. And then hopefully that doesn't stress me out too much and I'll come back here and work on car coasters for the rest of the day. Today is Wednesday, I don't know if I said that, but let's start building some boxes.
It's 11.15 and I was able to pack 17 kits before I ran out of yarn. So I'm gonna go make, I think I just need to make six more, no, nine more yarn packs. So I'm gonna go do that. I might make a couple more just to be safe. And then I will finish packing these orders and then Sean will be home. He'll take a photo with me in the boxes and then I'll have to pack them into boxes and then head to the post office. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. And I think I'm just gonna film when I start packing kits again because I'm just gonna sit on the couch and quickly, hopefully quickly make these yarn packs. Okay, it's 10 of two and I'm pretty proud of myself. I just packed up all of the kits. They are in the boxes. I also have a wagon of boxes. I don't wanna show the shipping labels, but this wagon is full of packages. Uh, and then the ones in here. So I have 26 boxes that I gotta go ship and I need to load them into the van first. I also haven't had lunch and I'm starving. So I think I'm gonna pick up a pizza on the way and my mom and i can have some pizza we can set some positive vibes <laughs> before we look at my student loans but i'm about to head off to the post office and i will see you when i get back my friend is also coming over for dinner in like two and a half hours so we will see how much i vlog today but do i have lipstick on my chin i don't even know i feel frantic because i just tried to pack those packages up so quickly so i'm gonna see you when i see you either later tonight or tomorrow i'm back from my parents um we like barely looked at my student loans we need to do it another time when the dogs aren't crazy in the background so i think she's gonna come here like friday my mom um but we did figure some things out not really just a, like a little tiny thing that i had a question about but i had a package arrive while i was there and if you saw my last vlog, two vlogs ago, whenever I was talking about the laser engraver, which is on its way to me, it's in the mail, um, I was saying that I wanted to also engrave on metal keychains. Well, I got the shipment in the mail. So the first one is just silver. I'm really happy with them. I'm super happy with the key ring. And just, I don't know, it's very sleek. It's what I was looking for. Uh, and then I got rose gold and I wasn't sure how this one was gonna look. I love it. It's a nice rose gold color. It's not too pinky. It's just like, definitely more like copper uh, than like straight gold, which is what I wanted. So those are the two keychain options I'm gonna have. And I got a few of them to start. I think I got 30 of each, something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna obviously start engraving on these when my engraver gets here. And I wanna experiment with the other ones as well. These ones I feel like are gonna be easier than the others. Maybe I'm wrong, but we will see. I've never used a laser engraver, I'm very excited. Um, but right now, before my friend gets here, I think I want to open these pins and take some product photos and I have decided I'm not going to ship them in a bag like this. I'll put them on a card and I think, um, I don't know exactly how I want to do that. Like do people buy pin cards when they sell pins? I don't know. Uh, Cause I was just going to print on like cardstock, but I, that's so much ink if I want like a solid pink card. So mm, I might have to look into a different method, but like, do I want to wait for that to come in the mail? I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to open all these up. I have a feeling my friend just got here because she texted me. Let's see. She said she's on her way. So let's quickly open these up and attempt to take some product photos. Okay, I'm kind of laughing at myself because I don't know how to take these product photos because they sit flat here, but they're not gonna sit flat like this because of the backing. 
So I'm gonna look up like, <laughs> cause I want them like in the background and then I'll like hold one close up if that makes sense. Like a photo of a lot of them and then just an individual. So I'm gonna go to Etsy and I'm just gonna look up like cute enamel pin and just get an idea of how other people take their product photos. Cute enamel pins, okay. I bet they take it on the card or something, like a photo of it on the card maybe. I don't know. I also put it on my camera case uh, strap. So cute. So I think I'll take a photo of it on the strap as well. Oh, they just stand them up. Okay, that was my other option. So I'm just going to attempt to get them to stand because they don't even really want to stand. Oh, there we go. I have to turn the little thing on the back to make it the right way. Okay, let's take some photos. Good morning, today is Thursday and today is the day that I teach dance at night. So I'm gonna spend the first part of this morning prepping for my classes tonight, figuring out what I wanna teach. And it's already 9.30, I usually get up earlier than this, but Sean's working from home today, so I was able to sleep in and he could feed Duncan. So I'm up a little later, uh, but yeah, these pins are listed on Etsy, I don't know if I updated because uh, my friend got here when I was taking the photos, but they are up and available on Etsy. Um, so cute, they're $4.99 before shipping, and I feel like I sound pretty nasally. I hope that's not coming across too much on camera. <laughs> like, I hope it's not annoying, but yeah, I'm gonna put these away, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna sell them at this weekend's market. Maybe just next weekend and the weekend after. I mean, they're so cute, but I don't have like a display for them like that's I think that's asking too much for me to try to put that together before the market um I want to get another sheet of coasters done like I kind of need to <laughs> I haven't done any coasters this week for inventory um and then I still need to get together like a display for the keychains I'm just waiting on the big piece to come in the mail so I might work on signs for that tonight or tomorrow. We will see. Um, I don't love not knowing if that's going to come in time because I don't know if I should make the signs or not. But, oh, I also need to make new keychain signs and I need to restock stickers. Okay, that might be a tomorrow thing. So, that actually, I will do that tomorrow because if I'm making signs anyways, I can make signs for the keychain, the new keychain display. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go prepare for my classes and then make some car coasters. Okay, update time. It's 10.35 and I just finished planning my classes. And now I'm just going on to make sure I don't have to ship any orders this week because, well, there is one I have to ship and I'm gonna make it right now, but um, for car coasters, I wanna make sure I don't have to ship those this week because I'm not gonna be working on them. I'm pretty sure I don't have to. Uh, October 4th and October 5th. I mean 6th, which is Wednesday and Friday of next week. So I'm good. There is one order I have to ship, which I was just saying, which is a location sticker. Let me show you what that looks like. <laughs> it's really small in here, but it's gonna be three and a half inches by three inches. And I design uh, the heart-shaped location sticker with two locations that the customer chooses. So these are good for long distance relationships, whether that be a friend or a significant other. So I'm gonna print this out and cut these stickers. I also made Happy Mail stickers uh, for shipping. I'm gonna go drop it at the post office and then I'm gonna get started on car coasters. Also remember when I said I don't need this much coffee or tea? Well, this is full of coffee. <laughs> I mean, granted, half of it's like almond milk, but I need a big coffee today because I just have a lot to get done. I'm also going to my parents later. We have to pick up packages some of which are so exciting. I'm so excited to share. I also need to mail out uh, Duncan's registration. If you have a dog and you didn't know, you need to register your dog. I mean, the city will let you know if you didn't register it. I knew I had to do it, I just didn't know how, and they sent me something in the mail telling me how to do it. So I have to do that. And then I still need to edit last week's market video. Gosh, let me see the last time I uploaded. My last upload was five days ago, so I need to do that sometime before Saturday too, which is a little overwhelming because time is ticking. Okay, so <laughs> let me not waste any more time. I'm gonna print this order and then we'll get going on other things. I'm feeling like there's gonna be some editing happening today because 
there needs to be some editing happening. So let's just see how much we can get done. Why did I believe in your empty promise? We'd move in together, we'd find an apartment. But I've been waiting for three years. You let our future disappear. I feel crazy cause we fight then pretend nothing happened and we keep running in. Okay, it's just about 12 o'clock and we're gonna be leaving for my parents soon and I've barely started on the sheet, but I'm confident I'm gonna get this done in time. Like I'm gonna make myself get it done by Saturday. But then I have to finish the backing, so we will see how that goes. But I took like literally three minutes to quickly design a backing card for the turtle pins because sometimes I need like little things that I can accomplish to like motivate me to like work on the coasters. I need to get like something done quickly. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you kind of can understand what I'm saying. So I quickly did this, I printed them out. I had my Cricut cut. So while Cricut was cutting, I was punch needling. And this is what the backing looks like. It's not the most professional thing ever. They're matte. I would probably prefer glossy, but I don't have glossy and I don't know if I'm gonna keep these pins in stock. This might be just like a limited release of them. I have like 98 available. Um, so I just figured I would make them myself. Um, it's obviously the cheaper option too, but look how cute. I think it's actually so cute with the pin on it. So this is how I plan to ship them and also sell them at markets. I think this is so, so cute. So I might take like a couple minutes to put some more on the cards and then we're gonna head to my parents and I gotta get my button gear with this punch needling. I'm back from my parents and I have so much to update you on so I'm gonna try to make this quick but I got a ton done in my opinion on the car coasters so this is really great but I'm still deciding if I'm gonna finish this by Saturday we'll talk about that in a minute but first let's talk about some of the packages I got so first very exciting package my grid frame came in or my grid wall so I'm gonna be able to put this keychain display together for Saturday for the agility place. So that's added work, but I'm very relieved because like I said, they're having an event on Saturday. So I wanted to get my keychains in by then. So that's the first exciting thing. And so tomorrow I'm gonna work on putting the keychain thing together. Sean might actually start tonight on that. But yeah, that's the first thing. Second, I got some packages that I wanna open. One of the packages is my laser engraver that came in. That one I'm gonna wait to open because I don't have time to look at it and start anything. So I'm just gonna wait, I'm gonna save that. Hopefully for next week, if not the week after, but I really wanna look at that and get things made next week. But very excited about that as I've said many times. Uh, but this first package is fragrance oils for candles that I ordered last week. And by the time this video is up, my candles are available on Etsy again. Now that the summer months are over, I am relisting them. I haven't relisted them yet, but they will be by the time this video is up. So let me quickly go through the fragrances I got. I restocked on a couple and I think I got a couple new ones. First is Tis the Season. We use this fragrance as our apple cider fragrance. So I got that, uh, Marshmallow Pine. This is a Christmas fragrance. We might have it available sooner though. That's like my favorite Christmas fragrance. So I got two of those. Also, I didn't say what time it is. It's currently 2.48. I have to leave for work at 4.30. So 
That's why I'm rushing. <laughs> then I got spiked eggnog. This is another one for the holidays. Tis the season. That's the apple scent again. And then vanilla buttercream. This is one we have year round and I just needed to restock on. So that's that. I also, I'll have to put these away, but I also have a sample that I got. You get a free sample with every order. Um, I order my fragrances from Flaming Candle, if you're wondering. Uh, Candle Science is also another popular option, but I just go with Flaming Candle. And I got Bonfire. I forgot what fragrance I got. This is going to be interesting. Oh. I don't hate it, but it kind of smells like bacon. <laughs> I'm gonna have Sean smell that and see what he says. Okay, this next package is from Rose Forever New York. I'm trying to find the. <laughs> and they reached out to me and offered to send some roses. So let me explain a little bit about who they are. So they are a New York based company and they design luxurious rose boxes with natural roses. And the roses last up to a year as if they were like freshly picked the whole year. And I don't know, that sounds intriguing to me. <laughs> I feel like they're perfect for anniversary gifts, Valentine's Day, just like honestly any gift. Like who doesn't like roses? Especially ones that last for a year. <laughs> and they also use natural oils to preserve their roses and everything is vegan, if that matters to you. And they have a bunch of different rose colors that you can choose from, as well as like the actual box that the roses are in. I know they have a heart-shaped one, they have like a square, they have other ones as well. And they're also allergen-free. And as I'm opening the box, I see they have a little care instructions on how to protect the flowers. It says don't water them or treat them. Avoid touching the petals because it can affect their lifespan and keep them away from direct sunlight if you can. And if dust collects after a few months, you can simply brush it away with a soft brush um, to gently brush off the dust. Honestly, I was planning on keeping them covered, but maybe I will open them. So yeah, let's open this up. And I went with pink roses to match my branding. They have a heart-shaped container, but they were currently sold out of that one, so I didn't end up being able to get that, but that's okay. Can I tilt them? Okay, yeah, they're glued to the bottom. <gasps> oh my gosh, yeah, I could totally keep these covered. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Oh, I'm gonna have to have Sean take a photo of me with these. You know what I was saying to Sean too? I was like, you know, this is gonna be a pretty backdrop when we get engaged, because I'm assuming we're gonna get engaged within a year, and I can put my hand over these flowers. I took the cover off. Look at how gorgeous. I keep like, I'm like afraid to tilt it, but they're clearly glued to the bottom, so I can. Also, Sean and I were like, how are we gonna display these? Like, we need a nice way to display them. They're so pretty. And they don't really smell. <laughs> and we're thinking like a shelf, but we didn't know if we could tilt them. So this is actually great that you can display them like this. Um, and there's also a drawer here. I didn't know it had that. So you could totally put like jewelry in here, perfume. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Thank you so much, Rose Forever New York, for sending me these. Really brightened my day. And I also have a discount code. It's Cheery Corner with a capital C on Cheery and Corner 20. I'll put the code here, but I'll also have a link below if you want to check them out and get your own roses. And that discount code will give you $20 off your order, no conditions. So no matter what you're spending, if you use that code, you will get $20 off. And I highly recommend checking them out. These are seriously so gorgeous, in case you forgot. Okay. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention that discount code is valid for 30 days from today. Um, the day that I upload this video is when the code goes live for 30 days. That's all I wanted to open on camera for now. And now I wanna have a little chat. <laughs> okay, for the sake of being transparent, I have been kind of overwhelmed lately with everything that I've been putting on my to-do list and that's just it. I've been putting these things on my to-do list and so I feel like I'm setting super high expectations that I'm not able to meet and that doesn't make me feel great. I feel stressed out. I need to give myself more breaks. I need to take more time to work out. We just got a Peloton cycling bike. I want to start doing that like every other day and so I just want to make it clear that I am setting these high expectations and 
I think it's kind of unrealistic and it's with just the amount of things I'm trying to get done every week and I think that's where prioritizing comes in like you guys might not care if I get a video out every week but I care and I want to do that so I need to somehow find a way to edit that video and get it up by tomorrow and so realistically I was thinking about what I have to do tomorrow which is or between today and Saturday obviously I can't do what I'm about to say Saturday but edit the video and like upload it that realistically takes me six hours if not longer and then I need to get the keychain display made and dropped off I'm dropping that off at five tomorrow I need to make keychain signs for that but also for my own because like I said they got water damaged and I need to restock stickers so that that's already a lot right and then I'm telling myself I want to get this sheet done and this is gonna take six <laughs> six to eight hours not including finishing the backs of them all so I had to be real with myself. All of that is not gonna get done. There's not enough time between now and Saturday. And so I'm deciding, <laughs> I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. Um, this sheet needs to get done quickly anyways because I have orders that are not on here that need to go out and I have a big market next weekend that I need to prep for. So the sooner this gets done, the better. So I might continue to work on those tonight. I think I'm gonna work on them until I have to leave for dance. But then after that, I just wanna edit my video and get everything else that I mentioned done. So I don't think this sheet is gonna get done by Saturday. I'm not gonna make myself do that because it's not really possible. And I'm not gonna feel bad about that because you just, we, I'm one person and I can't do everything. Obviously I have Sean's help and he's a huge help. But yeah, I think that's the main thing is like, Figure out what you can get done in a day. Don't push yourself too much and don't feel bad about what you don't get done. As long as you're still being productive and making good use of your time. And even if you're not, it's fine. It's okay to have days that you're not productive. Like that's, it's not just okay. I think it's like necessary and I need to implement that more because I don't really give myself many days off. So <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say that um, I'm not gonna put so much pressure on myself. Yeah, my car coasters aren't as stocked as I would like them, but they're still pretty dang stocked. Like, I'm not showing up with nothing. So, and that's not the only thing I'm selling. Like, I have so much other product, which I don't really have many tote bags tufted, but I have a lot of transfer ones made. I have a couple tufted, but those haven't been selling because they're kind of expensive. They're the peach ones. So, I'm pretty good with product, and I need to just, like let myself breathe to be honest I haven't even eaten lunch and it's three o'clock so I'm gonna go eat lunch and I'm gonna then work more on these car coasters go to dance and then we will see what I want to do after dance if I want to start editing the video or continue working on these car coasters sorry I didn't get footage of tufting these it's just because I was at my parents but I'll get some footage before I go to dance yeah I'm good, I just need to be deliberate about taking time to like take care of myself more with working out and giving myself breaks. So yeah, that's kind of the update. Wanted to have that little chat, but let's continue working. But first, let's feed myself. Okay, I still want to build a shelf for the roses. I'm thinking we could have some shelves right here for different things. Honestly, probably just for like decor. But I don't want them to just sit around until then. So I put them up here because speaking of prioritizing things, building a shelf for that is not top priority, but I'm hoping it will get done soon. Okay, it's 4.20, I have to leave in 10 minutes to go teach, so I still need to get ready. Um, but I'm currently laminating my About the Artist sign for the keychains at the Dog Agility facility. So um, that's one thing that'll be done for that display. And Sean already put the display together, so that's really good. 
so helpful. Um, and I just need to make the signs uh, for that and then that should be good. We'll set everything up there. And then I like also need to grab the inventory of the keychains. And then I need to restock stickers. I think I'm gonna do that first thing in the morning. And tonight I think I'm just gonna try to get as much done on the car coasters as I can. And then tomorrow I'm gonna also spend most of the day editing the YouTube video. So that's where we're at. This is the sign about the artist, a little blurb I wrote up, and a picture of Duncan and I at a market. And I'm gonna make this a little smaller because it's kind of big. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut the extra white off. I'm actually gonna use my paper cutter to do that. So I'll either see you tonight after I teach or tomorrow morning when I'm making stickers. It's just about eight o'clock and I've been home for a little bit from teaching and I'm about to make the signs for the new keychain display and then to replace the signs on the old one. So I have all the signs pulled up on my computer that I wanna print. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. And then if you noticed in the last clip, I had spelt the word artist wrong on my last flyer. So I remade it with the right spelling. And I'm gonna just print these signs out and then I think I'm gonna eat some dinner and punch needle on the couch. Okay, I just finished the signs. Actually, I finished them like probably 15 minutes ago. And Sean's vacuuming, if you hear that. Probably should have waited until he stopped vacuuming, but I'm just gonna speak over him. Oh, now Duncan's going. Um, but I'm like sitting here scrolling through my phone, not being productive, um, because for some reason I don't feel like punch needling right now. So instead of wasting more time, I'm gonna start editing the YouTube video, and then I guess I'll punch needle more tomorrow. Um, I'm like just staring at this. Punch needle like takes so long, I wish it didn't take so long. I wanna just like bang them out, constantly have so much inventory, but that's not how it works. Uh, oh my gosh, as Sean gets closer to the door, I'm speaking louder and louder so that you can hear me. But yeah, I'm gonna edit, that's the update, and then I will probably see you tomorrow morning. I just gotta share this. We put fairy lights behind the roses, and they look so pretty with the lighting. And it even looks pretty with like, the lights on in here. How cute. Um, but with the lights off, it's like so cozy. Okay, you can kind of get an idea. If it would focus on that light, I feel like you could see. Just like so cozy, and then now we have this light over there. The Duncan. Duncan! What are you barking at? He was just huffing and puffing. But yeah. Wanted to share that because I think it's super cute with the lighting. Today is Friday and it's already 2 p.m. I sat on the couch from like 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. <laughs> editing that video and I finished it. It's currently uploading. I had a super late breakfast. I ate at like 1.30. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. I'm glad the video's done. I'm not so glad that the day is halfway over, but I don't have a ton to do, honestly. I'm gonna make stickers right now, and then I wanna put some more pins on some pin backings, so I need to print the backings for the pins as well. And then I'm pretty set on the keychain display. I think everything's good to go. We just need to bring it into the agility facility and set it up there. Um, I made a Venmo sign this morning as well because I'm gonna do cash and Venmo for those transactions. And then I think, honestly, I'll probably just work on car coasters after that. Uh, we're dropping the sign off at five and then we're going to my parents for dinner. Um, so yeah, honestly, it's gonna be stickers, pins, and then car coasters for today. So that's the plan. Um, looking at my inventory, I don't feel too bad about it. Could definitely be better, could be a lot better, but it is what it is, and I'm just gonna keep chugging and hopefully get this sheet done quickly because like I said, I have other orders I need to get done soon too. So that's the plan, let's make some stickers.
It's 20 at 4 right now and I just finished the stickers. I've been having more issues with the lamination and I need to do more testing and figure out if it's the sheets, like the laminating sheets themselves or my laminator. So I, sw I didn't switch out the sheets, I just opened a new pack of the same ones and I'm having the same issue. So my next step is gonna be to test the laminator and then if it's still having that issue, I'm gonna get new sheets because uh, I do have another laminator on hand. It's the same brand though, but I use that one to make so many stickers. But the thing is, I've used this one to make a ton of stickers too. So I think it's the sheets, but I've also used these sheets to make a ton of stickers. So I didn't change my method and all of a sudden, some of the stickers are not, like the lamination is not staying on the sticker. And I especially, I'm noticing that with black ink. So I'm wondering if it's the ink. If somehow they switched out the formula for their ink, I have no clue. So <laughs> that's a little stressful uh, because stickers are a big product for us. Um, and I was able to make a ton of stickers still, but I had to like remake a lot of them as well. So it's like some of them aren't sufficient and then some are just fine. So. That's why it took me forever to do these stickers. <laughs> and right now I'm gonna pack up a couple of punch needle kits and then we will see what I'm gonna do. But let's just start by doing those kits. Okay, I just finished packing the punch needle kits and this one's special. It's for a swap that I'm doing with Felts by Philippa. I think that's how you say your name. Felts by P-H-I-L-I-P-P-A on Instagram. Uh, so I have a kit for her and then a couple of car coasters so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the shipping label for that separate because she's in the UK um, I'm gonna pack these up and then drop them at the post office probably tomorrow it's gonna have to be tomorrow and I realized I can't do any more backing cards for my pins because I don't have card stock I ran out so that's gonna have to wait but after I do this I think I'm just gonna chill <laughs> because I have to drop the keychain display off and set that up in like 55 minutes. So I'm gonna do this, take a break, and then we're gonna head over to do the keychains. Okay, it is Friday night, it's 9.54. And I ended up pulling out of tomorrow's market and I've been crying, if you can tell, because I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. I hate to do that. I've never done that. Um, I've never pulled out of a market. And I think that says something because I do markets pretty much every weekend. At least I have been doing them every weekend for the past few months. And... Um, it was a $50 market tomorrow, so obviously I'm gonna be out $50. But the reason I pulled out is because I'm just like way too overwhelmed right now. And the idea of going to a market tomorrow, like it, the idea alone is like making me cry. I can't, I, I don't wanna say I'm burnt out because I'm not burnt out. I just am like, I can't do it. I'm an introvert. And so these markets are so draining. And the fact that I haven't had a break from a market for months, which is our choice. Like that's the thing I'm like mad at myself about is like we booked the market, we should go to the market. Like that's the agreement when you sign up for a market. But I do want to make it clear, I love markets. Just because they're draining doesn't mean I don't love them. I'm just saying where I am right now, um, considering the fact that they are so draining, I just can't do it tomorrow. I, it's really not that deep. I'm just emotional <laughs> and I feel bad because I hate to be that vendor. It's just like, I look at this board of car coasters and I'm like so low. And then I know after tomorrow, I'm gonna be even more low. And I have half a sheet of car coasters that need to go out by midweek, next week, this coming week. And I have a big market next weekend that I need to be well prepared for. And even without doing tomorrow's market, I'm still very stressed about being prepared for next weekend. So like tonight, I'm just gonna be tufting car coasters all night. 
yeah it's just a very very long day doing a market and i'm not in a good headspace to do that tomorrow um i think it's just gonna set me back um for next week both emotionally and physically in terms of stock so that's my reasoning for pulling out and i feel bad because like i said it's not really fair to the event coordinator or other vendors but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta do what's best for you and i think this is the right choice and it's really not that deep and traumatic with that being said there is obviously not going to be content for tomorrow's market and i'm probably just gonna end the vlog here <laughs> on such a happy note <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Should I not? This is not a great way to end the vlog. <laughs> Maybe I'll continue the vlog into tomorrow. And I don't know. Or should I just give myself a break from vlogging? That's probably the best thing. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to be tufting tonight and tomorrow most of the day. And then my friend's coming Sunday. And I really want to prepare a fall day for her. So I'm going to take some time tomorrow to get the materials like I was saying in my last vlog I want to do pumpkin painting so I need to get the paint and the pumpkins and the brushes and all the things like for the whole day the food everything I hope this didn't come across as too dramatic I just like low-key had a breakdown right before this clip so that's why I'm <laughs> emotional um but yeah thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you did um be sure to subscribe if you want to see more small business content i'm not usually sad and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it yeah i hope to see you in my next video